seeing the Galaxy Rangers about to ride away, Captain Kidd pleaded. Hey! Wait for me! Don't leave me! The Queen set me up to lure you here, and now she double-crossed me! Wait! I'll help you! I know where the humans are being held prisoner! Goose slowed down long enough for Kid to leap on the back of his horse. Then the Galaxy Rangers galloped off. One thousand crowns for the capture! Shouted the Queen to her crown agents, who immediately took off after the Rangers. As they approached their ships, the Rangers were helped with cover fire from Waldo and Zozo inside. Soon they were safely aboard and lifting off from Tortuna. They all hoped that Captain Kidd could lead them to Zack's wife and the other humans who had been captured by the evil Queen of the Crown. After some persuading, Kidd revealed that the Queen was holding the humans prisoner inside an asteroid that had been hollowed out. Deep inside was a special chamber where the Queen drained off the life forces of her captives in order to strengthen her slaver lords. Which one of the asteroids are they in? Demanded Zack. Uh, how, how should I know? Answered Kid nervously. The data came in a fuel train. All I know is that's where they are. And that's where I don't want to be. Well, that's exactly where we're going. Announced Zack. <coughs> With that... The Galaxy Rangers loaded in the warp coordinates for the asteroid belt, and in a burst of light, they flashed away. Reaching the belt within seconds, they began dodging asteroids with amazing skill. Suddenly, Nico shouted, I sense a strong psychic energy field. Then, she pressed her hand against the badge on her belt, releasing her special mental powers that gave her brilliant flashes of the past and of the future. Now she was able to see into the hollow asteroid. I see them. I see Alaza and the other people. She called out. The Galaxy Rangers put on their spacesuits and jetpacks and forced Captain Kidd into one too. They left the ship and jetted down an elevator shaft in the asteroid to a control room. Realizing there was air, they removed their helmets and looked around. Doc spotted a button on the control pad and pushed it. Out came a psychocrypt, a large glass-like coffin containing the bodies of gherkins, peace-loving creatures who lived on Tortuna. Are they dead? Asked Zack. They seem to be in some kind of controlled state, asleep and powerless, but not dead. Answered Nico. Then, before the Galaxy Rangers could further check the gherkins, a trap door opened beneath their feet, and they and Captain Kidd tumbled down a long shaft. When they landed, they saw in front of them a frightening sight. It was the Queen. Welcome, Galaxy Rangers. <laughs> it was inevitable that you humans would acquire the hyperdrive from my enemies. But your destiny is to serve the Queen of the Crown. I rule a mighty and vast empire. You humans will provide the energy I need to activate strong slaver lords. Much more energy than these weak gherkins have been able to provide. I need strong slaver lords as my spies, as my eyes and ears throughout my domain. You've fallen right into my trap, Galaxy Rangers. What have you done with Eliza? Shouted Zack. My slaver lord is draining strength from her through the psycho crystal I placed on her. Behold! And the queen opened a panel to reveal Eliza and other humans in psycho crypts. The queen went on. Eliza Fox's life force can be fully returned only if the psycho crystal on the slaver lord is joined to the other half, worn by her. And now, you humans will provide me with the most powerful slaver lord ever created. As the queen raised her arm, Doc found himself trapped in a psycho crypt and about to have his life drain away. At that moment, the Galaxy Rangers sprang into action. Zack pressed his badge and fired off a thunderbolt from his bionic arm, shattering the cycle clip and releasing Doc. 
Now that they were back in action, the Galaxy Rangers freed the other humans by smashing their cycle crypts, then turned to rescue Eliza. But right before their eyes, the Queen's amazing powers removed the other half of Eliza's cycle crystal from a slaver lord and sent it spinning into her hand. Sneering in triumph, she shouted, Your weakness is my strength! As long as I hold this psycho crystal, I will see through her eyes, and I will always know where you are. You can never escape me! <laughs> when the queen and her slaver lords had disappeared, Zack freed Eliza from her psycho crypt and picked her up in his arms. The medical scanner on Nico's belt told her that removing half of the psycho crystal from Eliza's body could kill her. So she told Zack, We've got to get her back to Beta. With the other freed humans, the Galaxy Rangers hurried for their waiting ships outside the asteroid. Before the Queen or her crown fighters could stop them, the humans were all safely on board and rocketing away. With a little help from Captain Kidd's crew, who had followed the Rangers' trail from Tortuna, the Galaxy Rangers managed to blast their way through a blockade of crown destroyers. Flying in formation, the spaceships raced on to safer territory. Later, they arrived back at Beta Headquarters, where Commander Walsh addressed them once again. We are gathered, not for an ending, but for a beginning. Until her psycho crystal is found, Eliza Fox is still linked to the Queen. She will sleep safely in suspended animation. I'll find her psycho crystal if it takes the rest of my life, pledged Zack as he held his two children close to him. The unknown lays before us, but the League of Planets has new hope. With the help of our alien friends, like Zozo and Waldo, the Galaxy Rangers vow to bring justice to the untamed wilderness and freedom to the new frontier.